Blushers, welcome back to my channel and if you guys are brand new, my name is Leah and it's great to have you guys here. Today on my channel I'm going to be doing another what I eat in a day to lose weight video and you guys seem to be really liking these. It's kind of become a series on my channel so I've done three other ones in the past. I will leave the other videos that I did down below if you guys want to check those out after. I'm just going to be showing you guys my breakfast, lunch, and dinner and let you guys know like how I make it and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna start off with breakfast and I will show you guys what I'm making right now. So for breakfast, I'm gonna be trying out this new flavor of the Kodiak or Kodak, I don't know, cakes. So they have this new flavor, almond poppy seed, and that sounds like really good. So hopefully it tastes good. But yeah, I love these cakes because they're super easy to make and they taste pretty good. I like the dark chocolate one and I don't have the other one that I really like. This one's like okay, the buttermilk and honey one, that one's like pretty good. But my favorite is the chunky peanut butter one. So we'll see how this one measures up. All right, I'm gonna try this out and see how it tastes. That actually tastes so good. It kind of tastes just like a lemon poppy seed, or not lemon, just like a poppy seed muffin. Honestly, that's so, so good. So I would definitely eat this again for breakfast because it's so good and it's also really good for you after you work out because it has a lot of protein in it. So I found this flavor at Target. I think it might be exclusive only to Target. So yeah, if you guys have a Target around, I would definitely pick up this flavor and see what you guys think. So for lunch, I'm going to cut this avocado in half and then put in an egg on each side and then I'm gonna bake it. So I've never tried this before, but my sister tried it the other day and she said it's super good, so I wanted to give it a try. And then I had some Parmesan cheese left over, so I'm going to grate that on top as well and just give it, you know, some extra flavor. So I already preheated the oven to 350. So I'm gonna scramble my eggs, but you definitely don't have to do this. You can put this right into the avocado, but I just, I don't know, for some reason I wanna scramble them. So I ended up leaving these in the oven for about 20 minutes. So I just pulled them out, they're super hot. So I'm gonna let them cool for a little bit. But then I also have some pineapple for the side. I just love pineapple, especially when it's like a good pineapple. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I will see you guys back for dinner. So for dinner, we're gonna be making some spaghetti squash and I've never made spaghetti squash or I've never eaten it either. So we'll see how this works out and see how it tastes. So it's gonna be like a chicken pesto sort of spaghetti squash. So I have some pesto here, some coconut oil, some chicken, and then for seasoning, they just said to use onion powder and salt and pepper, so there's not that many ingredients, so we'll see how this tastes, but it should be pretty simple, so let's go ahead and get started. I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself. Whoa. This is not like a watermelon. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to do this. What the heck? I don't wanna do this anymore. I give up. Finally. This smells really bad. Is it supposed to look like this? So you're supposed to take out all the inside part. I feel like, is this even ripe? So I'm gonna bake these at 420 degrees for about 20 minutes and then we'll see how they look. I don't have high hopes, but we'll see. Okay, so I think I did this wrong or like, maybe this isn't ripe enough. I don't know, but like, not much is like coming off of this. So you're supposed to take your fork and go like this and then like all this stuff is supposed to come off, but it's not coming off. So I don't know if I need to put this back in the oven, but I'm kind of over it. Like this does not look appealing to me at all. So I think what I'm gonna do is scrap this right here and I'm going to just make some regular pasta. So, so this stuff is made with chickpeas, so it is better for you and it has 25 grams of protein. So for future reference, if you guys have ever made this, let me know what I did wrong or if it, I don't know, I just give me some tips or something. But yeah, I'm like super hungry, so I'm just gonna make this up really quick and throw in the pesto and chicken and call it a day. 
So we got our pasta here and then I'm gonna add in the chicken and add in this pesto and I'm like starving. So if this doesn't taste good, I'm literally going to Chick-fil-A. I don't even care. I have picked a smaller bowl. Not sure. All right, here we go. Not even exaggerating, that was like the grossest thing I've ever eaten. It was so salty. Pesto was not good. Like, I'm sure the pasta would have been fine if I would have just like used regular pasta sauce. This is like a fail, definitely a fail, but I'm gonna be going to Chick-fil-A like right now and I'm probably just gonna get like chicken. I don't even know, I kind of don't even want chicken anymore because it's kind of grossing me out. I don't know, I'll find something to eat. I'll show you guys what I end up getting. It's probably not gonna be healthy, but that's just what happens sometimes when you're trying to make healthy stuff and it tastes like crap, so. I'm gonna go treat myself. Let's go in the car and find something better to eat. <laughs> okay, peace. All right, I'm pulling into Culver's. <laughs> ah! Ah, I don't care. Thank you for choosing Culver's. My name is Christina. I'm gonna help you. Hi, um, can I have a butter burger snack pack? But can I have cheese curds instead of fries? Absolutely. Anything else? Um, what's your flavor of the day? Uh, today we have turtle dog. Okay, what is that? It's our vanilla custard with salted caramel, marshmallow syrup, Hershey bar pieces, and pecan. Okay. Um, I'll pass on that. Okay. I was so close to getting ice cream, but it didn't sound like it, so dodge that bullet. <laughs> So I just want to give my little two cents on this topic because obviously eating a burger and cheese curds is not going to help you lose weight, which is what the title of my video is. But sometimes, man, like you can have it. And I'm not saying to eat it for every single meal, but like once in a while, it's totally fine. It will not, you know, defer you from losing weight. And I've been able to keep my weight down and not like go up and down, up and down. I'm, I've been like at the same weight for a while now. Yeah, me. me too. We got the kids. Okay, like I was saying, I've been able to keep my weight down and just like at a really, you know, healthy weight. And I've been eating, you know, mostly, I wouldn't even say mostly, I've been eating like a good amount of healthy food. Like I'm really trying to be conscious of like picking healthier options. But sometimes you can, you can eat a pizza. Sometimes you can eat burgers and it's totally fine. It won't like make you gain so much weight and stuff. I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of encouragement because sometimes when you're on this journey of like losing weight, sometimes you get really obsessed with like, okay, like I need to eat healthy for like a month and sometimes you have those cravings and you just like go and eat something that's bad for you and then you feel really down and then you I don't know you just feel like you messed up which you guys shouldn't feel that way so anyways I hope I'm making sense but basically if you eat one bad like meal you're not going to gain a bunch of weight is what I'm saying and it's totally fine it's totally normal it's honestly healthy sometimes for your mind to just go and eat something that you really want okay my camera is gonna fall so yeah and that pasta tasted absolutely like garbage but my dad will probably eat it because he eats anything so it won't go to waste probably but yeah i'm going to enjoy my burger and cheese curds if you guys have ever had culver's cheese curds you know like it's so good like oh they're so good so i'm gonna go ahead and eat those and i hope you guys all have a great day if you guys want to check out any of my other what i eat in a day videos they will be linked down below i was gonna say listed or linked so i said link. it was weird um they will be linked down below and yeah i hope you guys all have a great day and i will see you in my next video peace there we go Yeah.